French champion in the discipline of Savat. He is in for a battle against James Waring. Bob, you have to figure that here's a situation where two stand-up fighters are going to see a lot of punches and kicks. No question about it, of course, with James Waring, who, who's uh, a, a, an ex-world boxer, ex-world boxing cruiserweight champion. He's a dangerous puncher, there's no question about it. And Jerome Turcan is a devastating kicker who also says he's a good uh, puncher. I expect the difference in this match to be the leg kicks from Jerome Turcan. That's what I would expect. Ray, one of the things that stands out here, the cruiserweight championship for wearing. Is that is that going to mean anything oh, tonight? Oh, yes. James knows how to throw good punches, straight punches, and hard punches and put his body behind it. But I'm going to tell you, always in the fight business, we always say it's a young man's game. James is 38 years old. Uh, that's going to be uh, that's going to uh, work against him, I think. Well, of course, unless you're George Foreman. <laughs> <laughs> Here we get a chance to look at the tail of the tape. As you mentioned, 38 years young. I'm 39, God <laughs> you. 38 years young next month. Both 6'3 and about a 20-pound weight advantage for wearing, but I really don't see that as a big issue. All right, guys, I want you to rip. Two minutes on the floor, 22-minute match. There is no grappling. There is no submission. You understand? Do you understand? All right, back to your corner, please. Back to your corner, please. Tom, I have to wonder, you know, at the top of the show, you mentioned that Turkan is one of the favorites. Still feel that way. Absolutely, Tom. You're this ready. guy kicks as well as You're with ready. his feet, as well as he throws punches with his hands. He's very quick, Let's and he really wants to make a name for himself in this tournament. Bob, how do you think the discipline of Savat figures in here tonight? Well, I think the Muay Thai uh, part of, uh, of Jerome's training will play a more important part than the Savats, and Savats amateur Muay Thai is professional. But certainly the combination of his training is going to be very important. It really gets down to Turkan's more of a kicker uh, by, record, by reputation, and certainly we know James Waring is a puncher. Ray, we know that James is a puncher. The punchers have not worked out so well thus far in these events. <laughs> no, they've got themselves in a bit of trouble. But I believe James can time, and this is what a fighter, where, where the fighting spirit comes in. If you can time Jerome Turcan coming in and drop a right hand on him, that will be to his benefit. Well, you saw right there, Turcan showed the quickness of his feet. Waring trying to, Waring trying to do a little grappling here, and, 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 and a mistake on the part of Turcan, Bobby gave him his back. Absolutely. Now the advantage here is that neither one of these guys are grapplers. They're not grappling experience, so it's not so dangerous. I, I was going to say that, uh, Bob, right before you did, you can see the experience uh, uh, of uh, uh, James Hint Waring that he didn't know what to do with him when he got behind him. Exactly. One of the things that Turkan has done early on is kick the legs of Waring, and initially you're thinking to yourself, Tom, big deal, why do you kick the legs? But that can sap your energy over the long haul. Absolutely, and you keep wearing that, you wear down those legs, and, and those kicks, if they're you know placed in the right way, are, are, can be devastating. Not only do they, they wear the legs down, but they can create you know a lot of pain and, and bruises, and, and you know when, you, when your wheels hurt, you can't move around as quickly. See, Turkan said that his uh, strategy would be to beat on the legs of James Waring until he felt he had of where he was immobilized, and then he would go to his hands. That was his strategy. We'll see how well he executes it. Well, you, feel, you can sense, a, Ray, you can sense a little um, anticipation with the crowd. They're used to such action-filled, you know, bloody fights up to this point, but right now that hasn't occurred. No, not at all. And again, I think uh, Turkan is doing the right thing. James wearing his legs. He's 38 years old, and those are 38 years old legs. That will be doing this event. As I said, it's a young man's sport. Tom, are you anticipating the fact that this could this could go longer than the other matches? I, you know, nice I say yes, right 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 they're, they're fighting at, 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 at further away from each other, and I think that would lend itself to that kind of effect. Oh, oh boy. good right hand by James Waring. Good right hand. And he's going down. Remember, it cannot be by submission. He, he he tapped out sooner but James Waring is the man and why he's pointing at me I have no idea <laughs> he wants you next he wants, he wants you next he, here, he didn't get I'm you a 79 here, in training Ray. camp he wants you now I'm staying here Ray what a punch what a punch and what a big surprise wow. I don't think that anybody had anticipated that quick right hand by Waring ends the fight and that cut him too Todd his right eye Again, Todd, that's what I was saying, where the advantage to Waring would be. We could catch him on the outside of one of them right hands, which he did right here. Here's the setup. Waring throws a kick to his own. He steps in. He's holding him with his left hand. Watch him drop the right hand. And he drops the right hand right, oh, hand right across the right forehead. Good job. But that's not the one that put him out. 
Take a look, and it's just lightning quick. It's surprising because you said he's an old guy, Ray, but he shows some quickness. But he knows how to use his hands. There, there was a punch to the back, back of the head. Of the head. And, and give Wary credit right there. Instead of standing there and watching, he knows the discipline he's involved in. He goes right in for the kill. Now, right there, you can see that Turkan tapped out. Cecil Peoples didn't see it. But finally, there he sees the punch underneath. Turkan looks up at him and says, no more, no more. Peoples runs in. Here it comes, the punch to the back of the head right there. Watch the legs wobble right, right. there. Right there, Ray's on Queer Street. So when you get bad, people don't understand, you get hit in the back of the head. That then discombobulates you, messes up your equilibrium. And, and that was a brutal shot there. And Wary caught him with a good kick going down, which helped set up these. And then once he started punching straight into the face, Jerome Turkan tapped out. Discombobulate, huh, Ray? Hey, like Gee, word. <laughs> big word. I'm hey. the one that gets in trouble for those. Hey, I'm an educated pugilist. Right. <laughs> Up to you, John Higginson. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of our last quarter final in the strikers division with a time of two minutes and 35 seconds, winning by submission, James Jr. Waring. All right, let's take